What's up ladies and gents, Ghost here, and today we're going to be talking frame rates in Battlefield 4. So as many of you may know, with the latest patch, they released a number of tweaks and fixes for the game, which were supposed to help improve frame rate, reduce stuttering, and that sort of thing. All they said in the blog post is that they tweaked CPU multi-core utilisation, and I decided to do a bit of researching for myself, and do a little bit of comparisons. So I thought, what better map to do this on than Siege of Shanghai? I don't know about you guys, but this has always been the pitfall of my rig. For whatever reason, this map has just always seemed to be really badly optimised, and I just get a much lower frame rate on this map, and a few other maps, than I do on most of them. And this has been a huge issue for me. It's made me have to lower my graphics settings across the board for all maps, simply because of one map. There's no point optimising your settings to get, say, 120 frames per second on some of the other maps, say, like the China Rising maps, when all of a sudden you jump in Siege of Shanghai and you're going to drop down to 60. So the footage you can see here in the background is on the left-hand side here we have after the patch, and on the right-hand side we have before the patch. And I'm sure you guys can see there from the frame rate counter the incredible difference. Now, these are both played on 64-man servers in Siege of Shanghai Large Conquest mode, and the graphical settings are identical here. I'm recording with the same program, Shadowplay, in both instances. So literally everything is the same in this footage. The only difference is that the footage on the right was before the patch, and the footage on the left was after the patch. And I'm sure you guys can see here that there is literally a difference of about 60 frames per second. In some instances, my FPS has more than doubled. Now, they did release a couple of new bits of information. First of all, they made a new command for the console. If you open up the console and you type render.drawscreeninfo space 1, then you'll get a new little bit of information on screen. As you can see from the left-hand footage there, at the top of my screen, you can see that green writing. It essentially displays some information about which renderer you're using, be it Mantle or DirectX. It shows you which graphics card you're using, and it shows you which CPU you're using, its speed, and it also shows how many cores Battlefield 4 is actually utilizing. Now, along with this new console command, they also made a new string in the user configuration settings file. So if you head over to my computer and you find your Battlefield 4 directory, you should be able to find your user.configuration settings file here. Now, before you go tampering with this, I would really recommend making a copy of it as a backup and saving it to your desktop, just in case you make any errors in there that will break your game. You can always then go and put the default file back in again to fix it. Now, this new command was supposed to let you govern how many CPU cores would be dedicated to running Battlefield 4. Now, this command is thread.maxprocessaccount, and then you leave a space, and you simply enter the number of how many cores you want. Now, since I have an i7 processor with 8 virtual cores, I write space 8 there in order to try and utilize all of those cores. However, to my dismay, when I got back in the game here, as you can see from the footage on the left, this is also after trying to implement that change, it still says job threads only four there so whether this is because this string in the user configuration file isn't currently working properly as intended or whether it's simply because battlefield 4 doesn't properly support hyper threading and therefore i can't use all eight of my virtual cores i can only use four i don't know but if any of you guys try this out for yourselves let me know if it works for you or not there's a lot of people over on the forums saying that that this simply doesn't work for them it doesn't matter how many cores they enter in this string here in the user config file the result remains the same. Now, in any case, despite that string in the user config file not working as intended, the frame rate increase that I've been getting here is still much appreciated. Now I feel like I'm really getting the true power out of my graphics card. I am running an overclock GTX 780, so I kind of expect it to have decent graphics when running Battlefield 4. So far, I've only really been running with things at medium to high, and that's to be able to keep my frame rate at around 120 while playing maps like Siege of Shanghai. Now, as you can see, since my frame rate has now been pretty much fixed on Siege of Shanghai, which was definitely one of the most troublesome maps, I decided to crank things up a bit. So this footage here is with all graphical settings on high, anti-aliasing on two times, and ambient occlusion set to SSAO, which is the first of the two settings. And as you can see here, I'm dropping down to around 90 FPS at the most, but I'm also popping up to 120, 130, depending on where I am in the map. So if things looking pretty good on high settings, why not try Ultra? So here we go, this is everything on Ultra, four times anti-aliasing and ambient occlusion on HBAO, 
and as you can see from the footage here, I'm averaging around 90 to 100 frames. So to me, that is like an insane difference, going from playing on medium to high settings with 50 to 60 FPS in some parts of Siege of Shanghai, all the way up to all the settings maxed out and getting 90 to 100 is just a crazy difference. Now I did think to myself, for some strange reason, maybe this is just Siege of Shanghai, but I know another troublesome map for a lot of people is Hainan Resort, especially when you look in the direction of the hotel, you look towards the middle of the map, I always used to experience a huge FPS drop there. So here we are on Hainan Resort, once again with everything at max, and as you can see, the frame rate pretty much remains the same here, I'm averaging around 90 to 100. So I thought you guys may be interested to know this, if you haven't tried things out for yourself with putting up your graphical settings, then let me know how that goes down below. You may have noticed an FPS increase. I can't say I've seen a lot of other YouTube videos covering this as of yet. Nobody seems to be going uh, crazy over optimization in the game after this latest patch. So have a fiddle around with your graphical settings, guys, and let me know how it turns out for you. It's a pity that the new string in the user config file doesn't really seem to be working as intended yet, but if they do manage to fix it sometime in the future and get it working as intended, I'll be sure to make a video covering that as well. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this one. Hope you found this useful. Have fun fiddling around with your video settings and trying to make Battlefield 4 run better. And let me know down below, have you seen a big increase in your FPS as I have? Or have things much been the same? You know, as usual, everybody has a different rig, everyone has a different setup, and there's no guarantee that everyone's going to experience the same kind of increases here. So let me know down in the comments below what your experiences have been after the new patch. As always, if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, give it a like down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.